guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm Lizbeth, and if you've never been to my channel, I share my love for easy beauty and my personal style. And I'm making it my mission in 2018 to get more personal with you guys. And what better way to get more personal than the closet confidential tag? A little peep into my closet to share some of my favorite pieces, the cheapest pieces. So yeah, if you want to know more about me and my closet, then keep watching. All right, so the closet confidential tag has seven questions and it's actually been fun to look at these questions and figure out how to answer them um, yeah so I hope you like this video and I realize I'm gonna come off so bougie you guys I have designer pieces but I don't share them all the time with you guys I don't like flaunting things and what I do have has either been vintage gifted from my parents so yeah I just like don't always share a lot of this stuff so Get ready for a very bougie closet confidential video. Um, yeah, so first question is, what is the oldest item in your closet? And if you've been following me on Instagram, and if you're not, be sure to follow, I actually have been on this process of organizing and getting rid of clothes and things I just don't wear anymore. I'm just tired of over consuming and buying things because I like them and only wearing it once. So I'm just trying to be a little bit more intentional with my purchases these days. And this piece I can think of is this Louis Vuitton monogram Vernice wallet that I got when I was 10 years old. How bougie, what a brat. But you guys, I loved this wallet. My dad bought it for me. We were either, I can't remember if it was my mom's birthday or Mother's Day, and my dad was buying my mom something, and or we were just window shopping. I just don't remember exactly how this came about, but I convinced my dad that this wallet was made for me. It's a kid's wallet. I needed it. My life wouldn't go on without it. I don't think I was that dramatic, but I knew he was pretty annoyed about the $500 price tag, but I loved the crap out of this wallet. And the kid that I am, it is stained because I used the crap out of it. But yeah, this is my oldest piece in my closet. I really love it. My dad got it for me. I love the red color. It's such an easy, compact little wallet. It has a little coin holder, which can't really fit a lot of coins, and a couple card slots, and not that much money. Obviously a kid wallet, right? So yeah, this is actually the oldest piece in my closet. Thanks, Dad. I'm sorry I convinced you. I know my mom was so annoyed because she's like, what kid needs a Louis Vuitton wallet? She's like 10 years old. She doesn't need it. I didn't need it. I got it. I loved it. I still have it totally worth the investment so yeah that is the oldest thing in my closet I'm so embarrassed about about it but I love it you guys so yeah that's the oldest thing in my closet all right now for the newest items in my closet I have a couple new things actually this share t-shirt I got at Zara it was like $7.99 it's super baggy super vintage vibed but the newest is actually still in the bag got a pair of boots from Aldo Shout out to my girl Amy who picked them up for me because I've been wanting them from these black patent leather boots. This is my favorite style boot. I love a chunky heel. I love a fitted ankle. It zips on the side. I just think these look super bougie, super fancy. Aldo's actually selling them for 90 bucks, but Nordstrom Rack is selling them for 54 So I will link it below. I even saw Macy selling them for 45 so I really like these so cute so chic they will go with everything I can't wait to can't wait to wear them with my Levi's but yeah this is the newest newest piece right now really like them can't wait to add them into my crazy shoe closet right there all right so third question what is the most expensive item in your wardrobe and it's, I think it's two pieces. I'm not too sure because I bought these two pieces on sale. Um, so the first piece that's pretty expensive, which I looked up, retails for $1,600, which is crazy, but I got this bag for $400 at a resale shop in downtown LA. They sell crazy, beautiful designer goods, and I got this Louis Vuitton... Epi Alma BB bag. So it's a mini bag with a strap. It's white, which I was surprised about, but I love mini bags and fell in love with it. It zips. It holds a lot. 
GlossierBomb.com, some headphones, mascara, lotion, receipts, shit ton of lip glosses. Uh, but really, really love it. So yeah, this is one of the most expensive pieces in my closet, $1,600, but I got it for $400. Always shopping on a budget, you guys. Um, but yeah, super, super chic. Love it. Love, love, love it. But the second piece that I wasn't sure, because I got these at Nordstrom, they were on sale, are these Pradas. And I don't really ever share them, but I love, love, love them. These are from the fall 2013 collection, and I remember seeing them on the runway and just was like, I need those. At the time, I don't think I was thinking I would ever get the Prada ones, but Nordstrom had them on sale for 200 bucks. I want, I'm not too sure how much they were full price, but I got them for $200 just because of the leather and how heavy they are. I just, I know they're really expensive, but I don't remember what it was full price. So I'm pretty sure the Louis Vuitton bag is the most expensive, but I feel like these come close second. Yeah, but I got them on sale. But if I bought them full price, they would be the most expensive in my closet. All right, question number four, what is the most affordable and cheapest item in my wardrobe, my closet? And I'll have to say it's these H&M earrings. I got them for I think like $7.99, $8.99 and I wear them all the time. I got them in December and I just love, love, love how they twist. And when I wear other hoops, it looks like they're like such a big statement earring, super light. They just look sick and I love them. I wear them so, so much. So that's definitely the cheapest and most affordable item that I've been wearing a lot lately. Number five, what is, what is the biggest bargain? And it has to be my new Fendi baguette bag, which I love. I've been wanting a baguette. I've kind of wanted more of a statement baguette with beading or, or a really bright color. They had some denim ones. But this was the most affordable. I found it off Etsy. It was on sale for $57, and it's definitely the best bargain I've gotten. I love that you can, you know, make it into a clutch. This is the epitome of Carrie Bradshaw in my eyes. And I just saw some really rad Fendi monogram coming that for fall of next year that I saw, and I just thought, you know, it'd be so fun to bring some Fendi into my life. I am a mini bag lover. And yeah, so this is $57 score off Etsy. It is real. It has the authenticity number ID code that Fendi has inside their purses. It's in there and I really love it. So yeah, this has been the biggest bargain for me that I love. Question number six is what has been the biggest waste of money? But as I've shared, I've really got rid of things and been selling a lot of items. So I don't have a lot of that anymore. I just totally got rid of it but I wanted to share what has been the best investment for me or like totally worth the money and that is my vintage Levi's collection I mean some vintage Levi's I've spent a hundred dollars on some I've scored for 20 bucks so these have totally been my favorite investment in my closet I wear them all the time if you follow me you see I wear them I wear Levi's so, so much. It is literally second skin for me. So I would say, oh, worth the money I've spent on my denim. It's because I wear them all the time. Thankfully, I do blogging and like a lot of freelance work. So I don't need a more very professional work wardrobe. And yeah, my Levi's have totally been worth the amount that I've spent. Like I said, I've purchased Levi's for $5. I've purchased Levi's for $150, $200 almost. So I totally totally worth the money for me. I wear them all the time, second skin, love it. I'm actually going to be filming a how to find Levi's. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to check out the video. But yeah, I can't wait to share how I source Levi's and how I find them. So yeah, that has definitely been, my Levi's has totally been worth the money for me. And last question is, what are my three favorite items right now? And that took some, I love all my stuff, but things I've been, but things I've been really loving. First up are my Lispec sunglasses. These are by the Adam Selman collab. I've been wearing them all the time. They're just so rad, so badass. I totally suggest buying the real ones. They're so worth it. They're like 120 bucks if you can swing it, but just the quality is there and I just love them. They just make you feel so rad and so badass. So love, love, love these sunglasses right now. I'll definitely have to put my baguette in this favorites category 
just love it. It actually fits a really wide wallet that I use in mine and it's just so rad. So definitely my new vintage Fendi baguette. And then last but not least, my Gucci Princetown slides that I saved for, sold a bunch of clothes for. I have been eyeing these, really wanting them, and I finally bought them, which I posted a breakdown and vlog about how I saved for them and where I got them. So yeah, love, love, love these Princeton slides. So happy I got them. So comfortable. Definitely three of my favorite items right now. So I hope you like this Closet Confidential. I feel like it was so bougie, but your girl has a love for luxury, but not always spending the full price for things. So I love thrifting and buying used. I just think that's so, I love to recycle items that people don't love and don't use anymore. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below any other tags or videos you wanna see from me. I'd love to share it. This was actually really fun to kind of delve into my closet and share things that I love and that are special to me. So yeah, I will let you go and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.